Yes. Yeah. 
Yes. For I can witness, I can say to you, he healed me. So you have to be a true witness. Yes. And this is why you have to be careful sometimes with saying what somebody else said. All right, all right. The only way you can be a witness for God is to be a true witness. If you didn't have anything to eat and God bless you with food, you can say, God blessed me with food to eat. That's right. Clothes on my back. Shoes on my feet. Yes. Money in my pocket. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even if it ain't but $50, it's money in your pocket. All right. Amen. And All right. you know Amen. that God bless you with it. So you can be a witness. Then he showed me this. Great. Great means what? Big. Huge. If I say I got a great amount of money in the bank, y'all know um, I got more than five dollars, right? Mm -hmm. Great. 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 Big. A big cloud. Think of it like this. This is what the Lord kind of brought to my mind and helped me understand it. All right. Think about the clouds in the sky. Clouds are huge. Some of them small, some of them big, some of them broad, some of them skinny, some of them high, some of them low. But clouds extend past Tuscaloosa. They extend past Alabama. They extend past the United States. Right. They extend clouds all over the world. Yeah. All, right. all over the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when he says a great cloud, he talking about something showing up big. All right. mm -hmm. So a great cloud of witness, what would be a great cloud of witness? Witnesses. Oh, a lot of them. That means that God got some witnesses in what? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, he got some witnesses in Tuscaloosa. Yeah. He got some witnesses all over the state of Alabama. Uh -huh. Oh, Lord, he got witnesses in Michigan. Yeah. Witnesses in, in California. Uh -huh. New York. He got witnesses all over the United States. That's great. Yeah. But God is greater than that. Right. Oh, he got some witnesses across the ocean. Across the sea, in other countries, God got a witness. Yes. And God even showed me this. Even in a country that believes in Buddha, guess what? Oh, he probably got a witness there too. They kind of constrain you, but I guarantee you God got a witness everywhere. Because the word has to get out. People have to know about Jesus. Yeah. All right. Yeah. At one time, yeah. we didn't even realize or know if we had any witnesses in Africa. But guess what? Yeah. Yes. He got them. I heard some African children singing about Jesus. Yes, Jesus loved it. I heard people speaking of Jesus. They were in their own accent. But they were talking about the Lord. So when he says a great cloud of witnesses, believe me, he has witnesses everywhere. But I'm going to go a little deeper. Then he says, what? Lay aside every weight. The weight of sin is heavy. The weight of sin is very heavy on you spiritually. Because you know that you are belong to God. And so when you sin, there's something in you that lets you know it ain't right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Even if you don't tell nobody, you know no. what you did was wrong. Yeah. Right. You know what you said was wrong. Right. You may not have told the world about it. No. You may not have told nobody but the Lord. Mm -hmm. But to say, forgive me, Jesus. Because the weight of sin is what? Heavy. But he says that weight, every, every weight, and the sin which doeth easily beset us. So I was like, oh, what is beset? What does that mean? Trouble you. If there's a sin that you keep committing that troubles you, 
He wants you to lay aside. Yes, yes. Because sin is going to be, if you are of God and you love God, you're going to try to do what he wants you to do. And so when you're out of line, you're going to feel it. You're going to know it. Amen. You're going to know it. Ain't nobody got to tell you. Uh, you're going to know it for yourself. But that sin that troubles you or plagues you, or that sin that you just keep on trying to get rid of, and you keep trying to get rid of it, but you can't, you can't. Then he goes on to say, get rid of it, and then what? Let us run with patience. Because y'all, look, it's a long road. All right. And so you're going to have to be patient. You're going to have to run this race with patience. Yes. The Lord tells you in the scripture, one day at a time. Yes. That's running the race with patience. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get too far ahead. And your show don't want to leave it behind. All right, all right. But to have patience and to run the race with patience that is set before us. Whatever God has set before us, and we all have a gift, we all can do something for the Lord. One may have one gift, somebody else got another gift. And God made it like that. He made us all different. He didn't make us the same. I can't preach like pastor. Pastor can't preach like me. Because God made us different for a reason. But he want, God wants us to run the race with patience. Yes. Because you do have this cloud of witnesses. Mm -hmm. Let me share this with you. Also a part of our cloud of witnesses, listen y'all, are those who have gone before us. All right. Those who have already set an example, a lasting example for us. The record of their lives yes. bear witness mm -hmm. to faith yes. and to God. Yes. And it encourages us to trust God. Yes. And so in case somebody has forgotten who those witnesses are, I want to share that with you today. All right. That great cloud of witnesses that came before us, but they were testified of the same God. Yes. They were testified of the same miracles. All right. Hallelujah. All right, they shared examples of that faith where they believed God for things that had not even showed up. All right. That's faith. Yes. That's faith. When you can't see it. I know somebody said, I, you know, I just can't see this. I feel like it's going to happen, but I just can't see it. All right. I'm looking for God to bless me All right. and to bless me with a place to live. But I just can't see it because I ain't got no money. Mm. I can't see it because my family ain't got no money. I can't see it because people are not just going to give me no house. Right now. I can't see it. Right. But I believe that God is going to bless me with a place to live. Yes. Right. Right. And so I'm going to hold on to my faith. Yes. I'm going to hold on to it. Okay. Because I know God will do it. Yes. Because he did it for my mama. Right. He did it for my dad. Yes. He did it for my sister. Mm. He did it for my brother. He did it yeah, for yeah, my yeah. granddaddy. Yeah. And they didn't have much, but they had a place to live. Yeah. So I believe God going to do it for me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because I'm leaning, I'm depending on Christ. Yeah. And he will do it. And so the great cloud of witnesses, here they come. The scripture said that Abel gave a more perfect sacrifice than his brother. That's right. But that sacrifice was to say what? Oh God, you are with me. God, I love you. So he gave the ultimate sacrifice. The scripture said Enoch didn't even see death. He was translated. Yeah. He didn't see death. That's right. Because his, he had a testimony. 
that what he did in life, he pleased God. Yes. And he pleased God so well, he didn't even have death. Death didn't even come and show up. The Lord just said, hey, come on home. He was looking for him. He, where he at? Mm. He know, where is he know? Oh, he's on with the Lord. <laughs> what about Noah? Remember Noah and the ark? People thought he was crazy. Right. Yeah. Right. They said, it ain't even, it never rained before. Right. And you said it's going to rain so hard, and it's going to rain for 40 days and 40 nights without stopping, and it ain't never rained before. The scripture said that the dew of the rain came up out of the ground to do. But they had not seen that kind of rain, where it rained 40 days, 40 nights. But guess what? Noah counted it as faith to yes. God. Yes. And he said, the Lord told me, yes. and I'm going to believe God. Yes. And guess what happened? Yes. Because he believed God, yes. his testimony was that what? He saved his whole household. Amen. Amen. Because he believed God. Amen. And when he said to his household, y'all, this is what we got to do. His household said, yes, Daddy, we're going to do this. And they built the ark and saved their family. And the scripture lets you know there were men lost because they didn't believe what he said. All right, all right. But he had that testimony. He was a great witness for God. Abraham obeyed God. God told him what? That his seed was going to be as plentiful as the sand on the beach. Y'all been to the beach? Can you count the sand, grains of sand on the beach? Can you count? No, you can't even count sand grains in your hand. So you can't count on the beach. But he said to him, I'm going to bless you. Your seed going to be blessed. As far as your seed go, they're going to be blessed. And Abraham believed it. Amen. Messed around and believed it. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? God showed up and showed out. Sarah, oh, couldn't have children. But when God said what? I'm going to bless you with a child. Guess what? She had a child. Because God said it. So Sarah was a witness. Jacob was a witness. Joseph was a witness. Joseph believed so much in God. He told him, said, when I die, said, God is going to take us out of Egypt. And Joseph believed in so much, he said, when I die, take my bones with you. Mm -hmm. Woo! Amen. Amen. He believed it. He didn't know when, he didn't know where, he didn't know how. But he knew that his people were going to leave Egypt. Yes. Think about that. I'll take my bones with you when you go. Yes. That's a man who believed God. <laughs> Joseph. He's a witness. He's yes. in that cloud of witnesses. Yes. Moses. Oh, Lord. Do y'all know all the stuff that Moses did? Yes. And how he spoke. This was the one, y'all, that said, Lord, don't see me because I can't speak. I can't speak before your people, but God said, if you go, I'll speak for you. All right. Tell them, I am yeah. sent you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. God said, who do I tell sent me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Lord said, tell them, I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am your bread of life. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. 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 I am your protector. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And Moses went forth because he had to tell the people what the Lord said. All right. But God said, just tell them I am. I am your everything. Lord, Lord. He was a witness. Yes. So Solomon, a witness. David, a witness. Hallelujah. Paul. I believe Paul was a witness. Yes. Yes. Paul was able to say, hey, I was on the road to the masters. Yes. I was going to kill the saints. Mm -hmm. I was going to get them yes. and imprison them. Yes. When somebody met me Hallelujah. and shined the light down on me and I became blind. And I looked up and I said, oh, Lord, you see, he knew it was God. Yes, he did. 
a way for him to be able to see again. Now you think about that. What a witness! Yeah. You're on your way to kill the saints. And God meet you on the road and say, hey, buddy, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Hey, I have something else for you to do. All right. All right. <laughs> and then God said, hey, this is what I want you to do. I am God. This is what I want you to do. And change Paul. If, if Paul can be changed, Hallelujah. We ain't nothing. We not going to kill folks All right. because they like they love the Lord. And if you think if he can change Paul, he can change anybody. Amen. Amen. He turned him around and said, uh-uh, but hey, I got something else for you to do. You're going for one thing, but wait a minute. And Paul was a witness from there on. Yes, yes. And people thought he was crazy. They said, wait, isn't this Paul? <laughs> isn't this the one that was killing the saints? Yes. And now he's speaking Jesus? Mm. And he's speaking good things? And now he wants us to believe that he is with us and on our side now? Mm. Well, it took a while before they were able to believe him. Because he was crucifying people. He was killing the saints. But now Paul is a witness. Amen. Oh, Paul is in that great cloud of witnesses. Yes. And I could go on and on and on. But somebody going to say, oh, that was in the Bible day. Somebody going to say, that was in the Bible day. But we got a cloud of witness that's going on. All right. All right. And we know. Amen. 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 Amen.
God that did it. Mm -hmm. Because that man meant to kill him. Mm. But this is what we consider a great cloud of witnesses. Yeah. These are witnesses and elders who have gone before us. But they said the same thing. Don't right. get this? All right. In the Old Testament, in the New Testament, our foreparents, grandparents, our parents, they're all saying the same thing. Yes. They're telling us who God is and his amazing love for us. And so I want to say to you today, how can you lose? Back in the 70s, we were like, how can you lose with the stuff I use? Well, for me, how can I lose with God on my side? All right. All right. I won't lose the battle. Right. I won't lose the battle. My you remember how the Israelite came up on all those battles and they never lost a case? That's because God was with them. Yes. 